shaped bottom. When the pelvic floor and core aren't coordinated properly or are too weak to do so, when the diaphragm descends and everything creates expansion in the body on inhale, on exhale, the pelvic floor, deep core, and back muscles all coordinate together. To I just realized that there's three T's in my butt. And the butt in my word of my caption, not my caption, my title. Dang it, Caroline. Usually blame autocorrect, but who knows that happens. But I can't believe somebody hasn't called me out about it because people love to do that. So I'll call myself out. Anyways, my commentary um, for today is the heart shape butt or a flat butt or a mom belly or pee in your pants with jumping jacks or trampolines. Like none of those are inherently related to having kids. They are secondary um, things that happen because we have elongated abdominal walls or we've lost connection with our pelvic floor or we don't feel comfortable in our bodies. So we're gripping our abs in um, and have all these other postural adaptations, but it doesn't have to be that way. And no matter whether you had a kid, you know, a couple couple months ago or it's been 20 some years you can still re-educate your body and still retrain it to where you'd like it to be functionally and aesthetically um, if you can key into that control of the breath and the pelvic floor and I'm going to talk more about that in part two but I talk about it all the time but it, again it needs to be your foundation of everything. And they're all related. You know, a clenched butt or a tight posterior pelvic floor will then distribute pressure to the anterior pelvic floor, so the mom belly and prolapse and leaking. Those things are all related to an imbalance um, in muscle activation and those that might be too long or weak. Um, and if you can kind of get those back into a better, more integrated place working with the breath, um, you will see a dramatic improvement in symptoms and everything else.